In this tutorial, we will review wiring connections for discrete signal inputs and outputs. It is important to gain a clear understanding of how to make wiring connections correctly because the unit will not be able to communicate with external devices and equipment if it isn't wired properly. All wiring in this section will be wired to the terminal blocks of the controller. You should remove the terminal blocks from the controller before connecting wires to them. The terminal blocks will accept a maximum wire size of 16 gauge. Each wire should have a quarter inch of insulation removed to create a connection without exposing too much wire. Please note that the order in which you connect the wires does not matter. The discrete input channels are designed for use with 24 volt DC signals. These signals designate on or off from an end device such as a button or switch. An isolated contact power voltage supply of 24 volts DC is provided to use with the discrete inputs that require it. This supply includes short circuit and over voltage protection. Do not use the contact power output to power any other devices. The contact output power on pins 21, 22, and 23 can supply up to 150 milliamp maximum. If desired, an external 16 to 32 volt DC power source can be used for the circuit wetting voltage. In this case, terminal 24, contact input common, must be connected to the external power sources common in order to establish a common reference point. Discrete signals only require a single 16 gauge wire. Wire the discrete signal connection from the end device to a numbered digital input terminal labeled DIN on the controller. The numbered terminal the signal is wired to will correspond to the numbered channel in the controller. Here we have wired a signal to channel 1. Using the internal power supply, we have provided wetting voltage from pin 21. Discrete or relay outputs on the controller are isolated and use form C relay outputs with normally open, NO, normally closed, and C, and common, COM contacts. Each individual relay is separated into a numbered block containing the contact labels and corresponding terminal block numbers. To wire a relay output, use a 16 gauge wire. The relay contacts are rated for 5 amperes at 5 to 30 volts DC or 2 amperes at 115 volts AC. Before installation, verify that the 505's relay contacts meet the power requirements of the circuit with which it is being interfaced. In cases where the interfaced circuit demands relay contacts with a higher power rating, an interposing relay is required. Power source voltage should be wired to either the normally open or normally closed contact. In this demonstration, we will wire to the normally open contact of relay 1. If relay power is wired to the normally open contact, the end device will be connected to the power source when the relay is turned on or energized. If relay power is wired to the normally closed contact, the end device will be connected to the power source when the relay is turned off or de-energized. You now know the basic wiring for discrete signals. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.